Hello, this is Laptop Media, and today, we will show you how to open the Lenovo IdeaPad Gaming 315 and what's inside of it. Getting inside of this machine is certainly not very difficult. After you undo all of the 10 Phillips head screws, you need to pry the bottom panel away with a plastic tool. That's it. Despite bearing a lot of similarities to last year's model, we see that the cooling has gone through some change. Now, the heat pipes are equal in size and one of them goes all the way around the fans to attach to a separate tiny heatsink. Additionally, from the visual perspective, the fans' housings are now painted black, which doesn't make them perform better, but certainly gives Lenovo some points for looks. Now, let's take a look at the upgradeability. The IdeaPad Gaming 315 supports dual-channel memory via its two RAM SOTOM slots. Lenovo states that there are configurations equipped with up to 16GB of DDR4 memory, but we are pretty positive it can work with 32GB in total. Storage-wise, there is a single 2.5-inch SATA drive bay, additional screws and ribbon cable are found inside the packaging, and an M.2 PCIe X4 drive slot. Furthermore, there is one M.2 slot, which can also be used for storage, but you have to give away the 2.5-inch drive. In terms of battery, you will get a 45 watt hours unit. If you'd like to see more disassembly videos of the latest notebooks we would highly appreciate if you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.